Day 3 at nail 14, it's been Sunday today, Easter Sunday I might add. Um, this is where Renault Savoia, TQ overall, will be hoping he's standing tomorrow. Oh dear. So, someone's put something in the water here. Anyway, so yeah, Renault Savoia overall TQ, first non-US driver who has TQ'd a Neo in the Nitro Buggy class ever. Um, thank you Lewis for that. Renault did the hard work early on, he didn't quite TQ as many rounds as he'd hoped for, but however, he is overall TQ obviously. Tessman is the man on the crescendo, on the wave. He dominated the dash for cash last night, he's dominated today's qualifying proceedings, Q4, Q5, all about Tessman at the end. And of course he's starting pole in the Vampire Racing Electric class as well, so I'm sure he'll be racing very fast tomorrow, so watch out for him. He might be well, he might well be the chap who stood in the middle of this uh, prize giving board. Anyway, so what else? Uh, I'm going to take you, swing you around to see the track in its full glory, now that there's no smoke in here I can actually breathe and talk at the same time. Uh, take you through qualifying in the Nitro Buggy class. We have obviously Renault in uh, TQ position. He was very happy, ecstatic early when we spoke to him. Lee Martin in second. He's been slightly under the radar since TQing around. Been testing a few different things, tyres, maybe not gone so well, but at least he has more knowledge. Track is obviously ever changing. They're watering it right now, making a few fixes, so it's primed and perfect for tomorrow. Ty in third. He has two TQs in the seventh. Seventh is a slight anchor to his points, otherwise, he might have had a shot at overall TQ. Uh, Robert Battle in fourth, doing well as ever, a defending world champion. Jared Tebow in fifth, as we wrote in the report, five seems to be his number. He's five time winner, five time TQ. Struggling slightly compared with his previ previous performances, but um, I'm sure in the end he'll be there. Behind him, we have Dan Bloomfield running the Agama for Team Nemo, doing really, really well. Ryan Mayfield in seventh there, he's had a pretty good start to his RC8 uh, prototype career at Neo. And followed by Elliot Boots in eighth, uh, maybe not quite as well as he'd hoped. And then we have Ryan Lutz. Lutz had a bit of a disastrous electric campaign, ending the semis uh, early, retiring. And then we have Adam Drake, over 35 champion, we'll get on to that a little bit later, in 10th. And finally Ron Falk in 11th, climbing up from a pretty disastrous qualifying campaign, taking 3rd in Q5 and rescuing his uh, Neo 14 experience. What else? Over 35. It was our enjoyable final at the end of Sunday. Um, Drake on pole, clearly his to lose, had a disastrous opening lap, just crashed over that sort of corner cutting corner over there. Um, got tangled, it produced a great racing final for that. Simon Willis was leading it for most of the time until he tangled. Drake came into the pits late, came out you know, in front and just laid down the law. Uh, Willis finished second, Kevin Brunston third and uh, that's pretty much day three at Neo. One more day to go. Everything's running pretty well. Um, stay tuned, join us tomorrow. Did, there was some, some chat about gold watches, but I'm, I'm not sure we can remember that. We can remember that feeling, your pain. <laughs> I think that's contractual there. <laughs> Little Rolex would be nice, wouldn't it, Wes? <laughs> Oyster Perpetuals. Yes, that's it. That's the one.